Suddenly and quickly. A small young boy of 12 years, his name is Bill at home. He was the boy of the word of God. He read the Bible from the beginning till the end. And he came to a place, Isaiah chapter 54, verse 2 and 3. I hope you know that. It is written, extend the side of your tent and following, you will stretch out to the right and the left and you will settle down on the desolate places. That spoke to that boy, Bill. And he was meditating and then slowly, slowly he thought, I cannot sit down here to the tent where it is, it, it is like a kind of comfortable zone. I have to go out of this place to another tent wherever there is darkness. So he decided at last to come to India where he thought there were full of things which are related to darkness. He wanted to do away with darkness and bring light. That is why he decided to come to India and he came to Serampur. We are very blessed that he came to Serampur. And it is written at the end, as I said, he will settle down in the desolate places. Serampur, 200 years ago here, it was almost like desolate places. There were jungles here, one or two houses. That side, mission house was there. And that side, on the river side, there was another house where actually the classes started. But all these places, mostly that side, near the Senate building, there were burning huts. People were burning dead bodies in all these desolate places. And he settled down here, according to the word of God. And that was the center of mission. From the desolate places, he built the nation. Nation building started from here, I would like to say. Many people came, but this is the place where nation building. And quickly, just one or two things. He built nation of India in two, three main major ways. Number one, he built spiritually the whole nation of India. He built nation of India socially. He built nation of India physically, mentally, and then so on. Just quickly, spiritually. He started translating the word of God. Bible that was written in different languages and India would not have known the word of God without William Carey translating the word of God into more than 50 languages. Can you imagine? And then he learned himself so many grammars and then he was expert and then he took the experts and then he did the translation and because of that translation we many of us though I know that in South India Jiganbal also did the translations but at least most part of these whole India were covered by the translations of William Carey. Amen? And that is the first spiritual transformation national building and the second one was social nation building. How is that? He looked at these desolate places and he saw not only burning or burning of dead bodies, but along with that, burning of live people. Live people means young girls, little, little young girls. They were also thrown into the fire, into the pyre where they did not want to go. William Carey caught hand of one of the girls and they just threw William Carey down and took that girl away and put on the pyre of fire where it was burning, that, that girl was burning. William Carey cried out in his mind and he wanted to change this whole dark and superstitious practices in this whole desolate place. And he did that. He did a lot of dis he did a lot of researches. You cannot imagine. People say that Raja Ramon Roy and others did, but I just I disagree with them. I say the amount of research he did, he kept several spies at that time here. Several spies all over Bengal and quickly he actually wanted to know in the whole year how many. They reported more than 1,000 were burnt alive. And he made that research and again he studied the whole Ramayana, Mahabharata, Gita and everything just to know where there is a support of burning the sati. He never found and he presented a big paper and then he appealed to the governor at that time, Lord, uh, Lord Governor, and then the governor was pleased to see that no support of Hindu scriptures was there and he proscripted that sati practice and 
William Carey came to know that it was a law that no burning of sati will be there. He was here. He just stopped going to Sunday preaching. He stopped preaching. He said, my preaching is less important than translating that legal prescription immediately. He translated into different languages, Bengali, Hindi and so on. And he wanted to distribute to whole nation here, saying that no more burning of sati will take place. And that is nation building, isn't it? Nation building. And the whole practices of sati along with many other evil practices, he stopped. He could stop because he had the power by that time. And he stopped child, throw, child being thrown into the river. He stopped leprosy people being uh, left by relatives to die by themselves. He, he, he started a leprosy home in Calcutta because of that. And then he built a bank at that time, 200 years ago built a bank financially he made again nation building and then i cannot stop so therefore let us we all know let us be challenged today william Carey was not a man only of spiritual building but he built the nation in many many ways so therefore friends let us take this torch not only from here to delhi but let us take all of you are torches all of us are torches let us take these torches from here and go out to India and try to remove the darkness and bring light into the whole nation. Amen.